ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hello and welcome to Kingdom Barley. To get to the place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. It is day three. End of day three, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to congratulate each and every one of you who are standing in the word of God. You're standing on it as your firm foundation. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you are moving through this fast gracefully. Praise God. Thank you so much for joining Weed and Barley on this fast. God is going to do some amazing things in your life. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm pretty sure you're already experiencing the supernatural. Experiencing the supernatural. Let me tell you why it's so important for us to shift our mindset from this carnal region of thinking, praise God, and move into the spirit of God. Because we're in a time that we need to be moving by his spirit. We need to identify, understand, know the spirit of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. For we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Praise God. So we need to be moving as we are. So who are we? We are children of God. God is spirit, praise God. Therefore, we are moving in the spirit of God. And we understand that there are many things around us, many things that we're experiencing that are supernatural, praise God. The angels are, are, are set ahead of us, praise God. They have charge over us in the mighty name of Jesus to make sure that the will of God comes to pass, praise God. And the Lord has already stamped an assignment on us, praise God, hallelujah, from the heavenly realm. And we are to walk in our particular assignment. Every single person that you ever see on this earth has an assignment from God, whether they choose to follow Jesus Christ or not, praise God. And when they uh, 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 leave this uh, fleshly body behind, praise God, they're going to have to answer for what they did or did not do. Understand what I'm saying? Just as us, we are going to be held accountable, y'all. So let's go ahead and get to know who we are as children of God who is spirit. Hallelujah, for we know that what happens in the uh, spiritual realm, it manifests over into the physical. So it happens in the spiritual realm first. Praise God. This is why the Lord, he'll seal instructions in our ears when we're sleeping, because that's the time where we're dreaming, praise God. But just as we're dreaming, remember, uh, the enemy came in to, to, uh, came sow, in to sow tares with the wheat, and the wheat and tares grew up together in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord is letting us know that at night, a lot of things happen. At night, you have dreams, praise God, and the Lord is speaking to you. At night, the Lord is warning you, praise God, of things that are happening in the spiritual realm of, of the enemy, praise God. Hallelujah. If you're close to God, if you have a relationship with God, then you understand how he speaks to you. Praise God. Some of you are having visions throughout the day, praise God, where you're just having open visions. Hallelujah. And the Lord is just showing you things, praise God. Don't take that for granted. That is the power of the Lord. He is showing you, praise God, uh, uh, what is happening, whether it is for you personally or for somebody else, praise God. He's showing it to you because you're the vessel to pour it out. You're the vessel, hallelujah, that he is ensuring, hallelujah, like giving insurance on a car, praise God, hallelujah, to go and pour it out, praise God. And just make sure that you're pouring it out onto the individuals he is saying for you to do so. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's many, praise God, hallelujah. Depending on your platform, depending on um, your ministry, praise God, it just depends, hallelujah. But let's just go ahead and give God some praise. Let's just go ahead and glorify Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah for this day. Thank you for this fast. Praise God. Thank you for day three, oh, Lord. Hallelujah. For today, hallelujah, you spoke in the mighty name of Jesus that there is an appointed place, hallelujah, that we should be in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There are appointed times. There are particular spots in which we should be. Hallelujah. And Lord God, I'm so grateful that we have chosen to fast, hallelujah, and follow your instructions today because this is the spot we're supposed to be in in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us specific instructions. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for your goodness, grace, and mercy and everything that you have aligned for our path, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We know that these are good plans and we accept them, oh Lord. We thank you for being our leader. We thank you for being our teacher. We thank you for being our master, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are Lord of Lords, King of Kings. You are holy. Hallelujah. You are sovereign, righteous. Hallelujah. We love you, oh Lord. Thank you so much, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for paving the way for us in the mighty name of Jesus. And may tomorrow be just as good as today. We will continue to look for signs, miracles, and wonders throughout our day. We will continue to look for the blessings throughout our day, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. But we know you're pouring them out and we receive them in Jesus' mighty name. Let every person who received this message today be blessed. And as we take communion, oh Lord, hallelujah. We just glorify you in it. For we remember you in our communion, O oh Lord. And if there's anything that we've done, O oh Father God, that is not pleasing to you, forgive us, O oh Lord God. We repent right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For we want to be worthy of communion in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, Lord God. Your blood washes us clean. Wash us clean, O oh Father God. Wash us clean. Pardon our sins, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. You are a good God and worthy to be praised. And we honor you, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you again for joining. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a place where the Holy Spirit speaks. Praise God. Hallelujah. I am just the vessel doing what God has called me to do. Praise God. And I am called to do communion right now. Hallelujah. And so what we're going to do is look at Zacchaeus. Praise God. Because Zacchaeus was converted um, in chapter 19. But let's go to verse 5. Hallelujah. Because verse 5 was the added verse from one, two, three, and four. It was added on, and that's what we really focused on today. Hallelujah. In our word, that there is a place of encounter. Praise God. Hallelujah. And verse five says, And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for today I must stay at your house. Praise God. And what the Lord uh, unveiled to me as I was uh, meditating on this word, praise God, was that in this, when Jesus came to that place, that was the place of encounter, he looked up and he he said, Jesus spoke, praise God. Sometimes people are not hearing God because they're not in the right place. Hallelujah. Let me tell you that. That's a, in a place spiritually or physically. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, you could be have been told by God, by the Holy Spirit, to move to a particular place. But because of your disobedience, you're, you've stopped hearing God. And guess what? When you begin to get back into the flow of obedience with God, you'll begin to hear him again, praise God. Hallelujah. But the Lord is letting you know right here that in this particular place where Zacchaeus was he had climbed up the sycamore tree and Jesus came to this very spot and he looked up and he called Zacchaeus by name. The way that I say he called Zacchaeus by name. He called him y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we've seen where he called Peter and he called Andrew. Praise God. Hallelujah. But guess what? We also know that he said follow me. Well, guess what? what he, this is what he said to Zacchaeus. He said, hurry and come down, praise God. Hallelujah. He gave him directions. He called him and then gave him directions. Hurry and come, come on down, praise God. Hallelujah. Why? He gave him that too, y'all, praise God. Hallelujah. For today, I must stay at your house, praise God. The Lord is calling you to a place so you can hear his voice, so he can give you direction. Why? Hallelujah. So that he can stay at your house, praise God. What does that mean? That the Lord is going to stay at your house. He's going to dwell in you, praise God. And everything that is promised for this land through you will be birth. There will be some travailing, hallelujah, but the Lord is ready to do that for you, praise God. You are called for an appointed time. This is your time, hallelujah. If you have joined this fast, you have committed to knowing your place in the kingdom of God. You have committed, hallelujah, to knowing your position and your assignment. You have committed, praise God, hallelujah. If you fasted today and you meditated on this word, I'm telling you right now, you don't know your purpose in Christ, you will know it, hallelujah, because the Lord is calling and he's giving directions, praise God. And he's showing up in houses, praise God. But understand this, even when the Lord is knocking at the door of your heart, some people will choose not to let him in. Some people will choose not to let him in, praise God. But I pray today that none of us are like that, hallelujah. No matter where we are and what we're going through, praise God, that we'll put it all down for Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Because he is the only one, praise God, who can save us. He's the only one, hallelujah, the door that we can go through. He's the only one, praise God, who's living, you understand, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the son of God, the one and only true living God, praise God, hallelujah. So we are here to honor him and glorify him and praise him, hallelujah, rightfully so. But we're also here, praise God, to do the will of God and to profess and proclaim 
and to speak the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Praise God. That's why we're here, y'all. Hallelujah. So I pray that you do not turn your back on God, but you open the door and you say, come on in. Praise God. Hallelujah. Have a seat. Let me prepare uh, something for you, Lord. Hallelujah. What is it? Hallelujah. Is it prayer? Is that the sweet aroma that you want to smell today? Praise God. Hallelujah. I got some prayer. Hallelujah for you, oh Lord. If you want to communicate, praise God. Hallelujah. Is it worship, oh Lord? Do you want me to sing unto you, Lord God? Hallelujah. I love that. You love worship, Father God, that it's the melody to your ears, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Do you just want me to sing unto you? Hallelujah. Do you want me to just say holy, 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 hallelujah, like the angels do that are around your throne, oh Lord God? Do you just want me to say holy, 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 over and over and over and over again, oh Lord? Hallelujah. Whatever it is that the Lord is requiring of you, whatever it is that the Lord, hallelujah, uh, is calling you to do, praise God, go ahead and do it. And that's what the Zacchaeus did. Hallelujah. Because what he did was he hurried and came down and he received Jesus gladly. He received him gladly, praise God. And when the Lord is knocking on the uh, door of our hearts, let's receive him gladly. Let's receive him gladly when he's giving us instructions. Let's receive the instructions gladly because we know he has good plans for us, praise God. It may not look like it. That's what the devil wants you to look at, praise God, what it doesn't look like, hallelujah, so you can come out of agreement with Jesus Christ, so you can come out of covenant, hallelujah, because all he wants to do is come into covenant with you. So when you come out of that agreement and you start to believe the doubt and you start to believe that it doesn't look like that, that you're never going to be blessed, praise God, now you end in agreement with the devil, hallelujah, and you start performing it acting like the devil and guess what hallelujah you're identified as the child of satan do you understand hallelujah and so we don't want to come out of agreement with the lord we want to stay covered we want to stay in agreement with the lord and we want to continue to walk in what he has given us to walk in in jesus mighty name i pray that you believe in and receive it in jesus name let's go ahead and take communion we're going to first corinthians praise god chapter 11 starting at verse 23 Hallelujah. I have my cracker here. Praise God. And I have my. All right. So go ahead and make sure you have your items for communion. And I'll go ahead and read. This is the Lord's Supper. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks. He broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord is an unworthy man in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick in a number sleep, praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. And even when we look at that verse of 29 of judging, Hallelujah. Let me read that again. For he who eats and drinks and eats and drinks judgment to himself. Okay? So we eat and drink judgment to ourselves when we take communion, when we do not judge the body rightly. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we want to make sure, just like Solomon did, if we are in a position to judge, do you understand? Praise God. Because there are some positions where people judge. I mean, judges do it all the time. Praise God. In court cases, right? So there are many positions where people have to judge in leadership. They have to be decisive, make these types of decisions. But here's the thing. They can't do it on their own, leaning on their own, own understanding. They have to pray unto the Lord and, and ask for the spirit of wisdom. Yes, wisdom is a spirit, praise God. They have to ask for the spirit of wisdom, which is one of the seven spirits of God. 
Hallelujah. And so in that, praise God, we just want to make sure that we are paying attention to what we're reading, what it means, hallelujah, as we're taking communion and remembering Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thank you, O oh Lord God, for communion. I thank you for us gathering together, hallelujah, in fellowship today, O oh Father God. Again, thank you for day three, O oh Father God. I pray that each and every person was blessed, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you so much for this communion. As we are consecrating to you, Father God, as we are submitting ourselves, yielding to you, O oh Lord God, just as Zacchaeus yielded to Jesus, hallelujah. As soon as Jesus called, Zacchaeus moved, praise God. He did what Jesus said, hallelujah. He yielded. And in his yield, hallelujah, there was obedience and the, the obedience was obvious. Hallelujah. The obedience was seen, praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that each and every one of us who's moving in the things of God and who's taking this fast seriously, oh Lord God, that when we consecrate to you, that when we submit to you, that we're taking it seriously because in the yielding comes obedience. And we have to be obedient to your calling, your instructions in this time in Jesus' mighty name like never before. I love you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for this day. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining. Um, that is our fast for day three. It's the end of day three. Uh, tomorrow I will see you at 6 a.m. Remember, the fast is 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're eating clean between those hours. Praise God. Hallelujah. What does that mean? Vegetables, fruits, you know, no meat during that time, praise God, hallelujah. But, you know, after 6 p.m., go ahead and take up the meat. And if you eat meat, it needs to be very little meat, right? Hallelujah. But you want to focus on all healthy things. All healthy things, praise God. Hallelujah. But also, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Make sure that you're intaking water food during those hours. Fruits, vegetables, water, praise God. You're keeping away from uh, the bottom feeders, praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You, you're keeping away from the bottom feeders. So you can eat meat. It's just very little meat, but you have to keep away from the bottom feeders, the shrimp, the lobster, the um, crab, the, the pork, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Forgive me, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. And then what you're going to do is um, just try to continue, maintain that clean eating afterwards. That's what you're doing. You don't want to overdo anything just because the fast ended and you just want to turn up on the food. No, just continue to move in that way because what's happening is your body is healing itself of all the things that you've been, you know, you've been taking in, praise God. But also the Lord is doing healing in this time. He said it to me. He said, I'm doing healing in this time, praise God. Hallelujah. So adhere to the healing of the Lord, praise God. And watch what he does in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed in all your ways. Know that I love you. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ loves you, hallelujah. Greater than I can ever love you, praise God, hallelujah. So I love you with the love of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. And I just pray that you feel his love. I pray, hallelujah, that you feel the good to know God. I just pray that you have encounters like never before during this time of Jesus' mighty name. And that you draw closer to the Lord, hallelujah, like never before. In Jesus' name, see you for day four at 6 a.m. in the morning prayer tomorrow. For God, y'all, love y'all. Turn up for God. Ingredients to get to know 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 God.